Welcome to a PEDRA publication presentation. This presentation is an overview of a peer-reviewed collaborative study and is not a substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Any decisions related to medical care should be made in consultation with a qualified healthcare provider. This presentation, easy peasy, eczema severity assessment utilizing caregiver provided photos and videos is presented by Emily Croce. If you have any questions about this presentation, please email us at info at pedaresearch.org. Hello, thanks so much for clicking over to our presentation, Easy Peasy, Eczema Severity Assessment Utilizing Caregiver Provided Photos and Videos, presented by myself, Emily Croce, on behalf of the authors. First, we extend our heartfelt thanks to our generous funders, including a 2021 PEDRA Research Fellowship completed by myself and my PEDRA mentor, Dr. Moise Levy, here at the University of Texas at Austin. Let's chat briefly about eczema. Chances are, if you've made it to this corner of the internet, you likely know a little or a whole lot about eczema already. Eczema is a general umbrella term that describes a rough, dry skin rash. Atopic dermatitis is a more specific type of eczema and assumes some degree of allergic or atopic sensitization. In children, because almost all eczema is atopic dermatitis, the terms eczema, atopic dermatitis, and the abbreviation AD are used interchangeably. The motivation to perform this study came largely from fallout due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We rapidly needed to pivot to see patients via telehealth with limited experience doing so and experienced major issues, including learning the best way to get a good skin exam across the internet. Additionally, in-person research was halted, but we had patients participating in clinical research trials who needed to continue their treatment and therefore the show needed to go on. My overall research program is centered on racial and ethnic disparities in childhood atopic dermatitis, which are abundant. Therefore, Though this study was strongly influenced by limitations imposed on us by the pandemic, we strongly considered race, ethnicity, skin tone, adequacy of instruments to assess skin of color, and access to care for marginalized populations when designing our study and interpreting the results. The eczema area and severity instrument, also known as EASY, is a tool used for assessing eczema severity. Although most often used in research settings, it can be a valuable tool to track treatment response in clinic patients as well. Clinicians utilizing the EASY instrument rate four domains, erythema or redness, edema or papulation, excoriation or scratching, and lichenification, which is a thickening of the skin due to inflammation and scratching. These are rated from none to severe, and the tool also helps the clinician estimate the overall body surface area affected by the eczema. Then the easy tool calculates an overall score ranging from zero to 72. There are some limitations to using easy, particularly on darker skin tones, because of a reliance on erythema or redness, where children might actually experience darkening of the skin due to inflammation rather than redness. Nevertheless, we selected EASY because it has been validated in a small sample of participants with darker skin tones, whereas some other instruments have not. The Fitzpatrick Scale or Fitzpatrick Skin Type is a tool that assigns a number for a person's skin type. Many consider the Fitzpatrick Skin Type classification to be outdated and not a great tool for assessing skin of color, unfortunately. Though researchers are working to create a more accurate tool, particularly for people with skin of color. We acknowledge this limitation, but also felt it was important to include a measure of skin tone and therefore included it for our study. When considering the performance of a new clinical rating instrument set or investigating its use in certain populations, such as we did with the easy tool, reliability and validity are commonly determined. Reliability refers to consistency of the instrument, and in our case, this was determined via the intra-class correlation coefficient or ICC, which measured whether different raters gave similar easy scores. Many know this as inter-rater reliability. Validity refers to accuracy of the instrument, and in our study, we calculated Lin's concordance correlation coefficient, or CCC, to determine how well the photo and video easy scores agreed with the gold standard measurement, which we considered to be an in-person assigned easy score, as this has been validated already by numerous authors. Now that you have that background info, let's move on to our study. 
The aims of our study were to determine the reliability, validity, feasibility, and accessibility of eczema severity assessment using the easy instrument in children applied to caregiver provided photos and videos. We called this P easy and V easy. Children ages 0 to 18 years with a physician diagnosis of atopic dermatitis were recruited from the Dell Children's Medical Center, Pediatric Dermatology, and Allergy, Asthma, Immunology Clinics. We enrolled English and Spanish speakers. One, once consent was obtained and participants were enrolled, a board-certified pediatrician, dermatologist, or dermatology trained nurse practitioner determined an easy score in person. The caregiver was then provided an instruction sheet to collect photos in a short video of the child's skin and transmit them to us electronically using their own mobile device. Then the same clinician rater and two additional raters assigned easy scores to the photos and videos. This was done in random order with at least 10 days between each type of rating to minimize recall bias. Caregivers and clinician raters were also asked about the feasibility and acceptability of this process. This was the instruction sheet we provided to the caregivers. We recruited 50 child caregiver dyads or pairs with the child ranging in age from 3 months to 17.2 years. Here are two rather detailed slides describing our participant population. Most importantly, we would like to highlight that our participant sample was racially, ethnically, and socioeconomically diverse, and 76% of the participants had Fitzpatrick skin type 4, 5, or 6. And here are the results of the reliability and validity testing. As a reminder, CCC stands for Concordance Correlation Coefficient, which is how well the photo or video rating agreed with the same rater's in-person rating at a previous time, which was considered the gold standard. The ICC, or Intra-Class Correlation Coefficient, is a measure of inter-rater reliability in our study and considers how consistent multiple raters were in assigning easy scores to the photos and videos. Though our study was not powered to consider differences specifically between skin tone groups, we calculated our results for all participants and then separately for Fitzpatrick skin types 1 to 3 and 4 to 6. A score of 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 was considered moderate reliability or validity, 0.75 to 0 0.90 good, and greater than 0 0.90 excellent. You can see that Video Easy always performed lower than Photo Easy, and that the ICC results were noticeably lower in children with darker skin tones compared to children with lighter skin tones. Here is a simpler breakdown of the results by Fitzpatrick skin type and Photo Easy versus Video Easy. Finally, clinician raters felt photos were adequate 60% of the time and videos were only adequate 33% of the time to confidently assign an easy score. The vast majority of caregivers reported they would be willing and able to repeat this process easily in the future. So there you have it, it's easy peasy. Remote easy assessment using photo easy and video easy was reliable and valid in our diverse sample of 50 children with atopic dermatitis and use of photo easy and perhaps video easy may enhance clinical practice, facilitate increased access to care, and improve research representation. However, while reliability and validity were good for both photo easy and video easy, clinician raters did not feel confident about the ability to assess easy in this way and or possibly did not enjoy it. Our study was limited by, limited by the use of the Fitzpatrick scale, which is subjective and considered by many to be outdated. Also, EASY has limitations with darker skin that need to be addressed, and we did not have any participants with a Fitzpatrick skin type 1. Videos were only used as a proxy for a live transmitted health visit, and we feel it is highly likely that real-time video transmitted over the internet may have more issues with clarity and thus reliability and validity of real-time telehealth video assessment may be lower. Also, we did not ask caregivers to photograph the scalp, buttocks, or genitalia, and this may have falsely lowered those easy scores. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed our presentation and learned a little bit too. And here are our references. Thanks so much. Take care. Thank you for tuning in to this PEDRA publication presentation. If you are interested in applying for research funding through PEDRA, please visit www.pedraresearch.org. 
You can also find other publications on our website along with educational resources. Be sure to stay plugged into current activities happening with PEDRA by tracking us on our social media channels. That's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn at PEDRA Research. And you can also hear us on our podcast channel, PEDRA Pearls, available on iTunes, Spotify, and Google. Thanks so much for tuning in.